Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. What seems like a repeat today again. Very warm, very windy out there. A lot of blue skies here as we check out downtown Bismarck. It's 77 degrees, but the wind cranking out of the southeast at 24 miles per hour. Uh, temperatures cooler to the southeast, warmer to the northwest. It's 73 degrees in Linton, 84 degrees right now in Williston, which looks to be the warm spot. It was 86 just uh, not that long ago in Watford City. But even though the temperatures are slightly warmer to the northwest, everybody is feeling the effects of that southeasterly wind. The dew point's also going on up. In fact, Dew points now in the 50s uh, for most of us, upper 40s towards the Turtle Mountains. But look at Bowman and Hedinger. Dew points up towards 60 degrees. So things getting, dare I say, a little bit humid outside right now. And we take a look at the Almanac. We actually managed to get to 80 degrees on the nose today here at Bismarck. Average high is 69 degrees. So we were 11 degrees above the average for this time of year. And we started off on a mild note as well. We got down to 55 degrees early this morning. Record high 96, set back on this day in 1948. Current Satellite radar, just a few upper level clouds kind of streaming on in across northwest North Dakota. Uh, zooming on out a little bit, and we're getting some pretty active weather right now across the uh, Rockies of Montana. A severe thunderstorm watch, in fact, across the uh, Rockies there of Montana. Even have a little bit of activity starting to percolate there in eastern Wyoming. Now, we're going to stay dry here in our neck of the woods. We do have increasing humidities, increasing temperatures, so a little bit of instability. However, we have that cap, that cap cap that will keep things in place and keep those thunderstorms from forming in our neck of the woods. But yeah, we get to deal with the wind, so there's that. All right, let's go ahead and roll precision cast. Again, you're looking at those thunderstorms off towards Montana, rolling on in towards the Canadian Prairie. Here's the situation by early tomorrow morning. Another area of low pressure develops on the leeward side here of the Rockies. It will have a boundary associated with it. We're going to start to see the southeasterly wind uh, tomorrow again become pretty strong out of the southeast by 2.30 in the afternoon. Again, you're looking at a southeasterly wind for everybody. However, this time, with additional forcing along the boundary. It does look like we'll see some thunderstorm development, primarily there in southeastern Wyoming and, uh, or excuse me, southeastern Montana, eastern Montana. And then some of that will roll in towards western North Dakota. The severity of it, as it does roll into western North Dakota, is still in question, but it does, some, uh, of course, some bear uh, watching. Now, the boundary rolls in towards central North Dakota by Thursday afternoon, and it does look like we'll see some thunderstorms form again on this boundary. The instability won't be as great, and uh, the storms could form further east, but they could form further west back to, uh, uh, or the storms could form back to the west and roll further east. We'll watch, basically, still a question about placement. Winds, though, they're going to be sticking around. You can see it's going to be a breezy overnight, and the winds will really start to crank out of the southeast again by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, severe potential, slight, that's a two on a scale from one to five, back to the west tomorrow, and then a marginal, which is a one on a scale of one to five across central North Dakota by Thursday. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 50s and low 60s. So again, a mild night. Your highs tomorrow, temperatures warming up into the 70s and mid 80s. So another warm day, another warm and windy day, but we'll throw in the chance for storms, especially back to the west. There you go, Dickinson. Chances for storms with those windy conditions tomorrow. Williston, you're going to be looking at breezy conditions with chances for storms by late tomorrow evening. And then the Minot, Pretty uh, pretty dry tomorrow. Maybe a slight chance for some of those storm, uh, storms rolling in, but better chances on Thursday. And then maybe the best chance to see any storms across central North Dakota looks to be Saturday with some cooler temperatures. Right. Watching. Dave, thank you. Coming up next in sports, could we see professional sports in business?